Okay, so working in an incognito window today because for some reason I couldn't get, um, kept on like getting errors for me. Maybe because I've been like testing different releases, like ones for our internal version of Salesforce, of Trailhead, and ones for the external. So it's like, I don't know, the login thing kept on timing out. It was weird. So <clears throat> incognito windows it is. Up to compact, customized compact layouts. More fun with mobile customizations. <laughs> now that you've had your, now that you have your black belt and quick actions. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not quite. Uh, we can move on to the next mobile customization tool. In this unit, we introduce you to compact layouts. Sorry, I just smacked the microphone. Before diving in, we just want to acknowledge that the whole layout thing can be confusing. Thank you. Action layouts, global published layouts, page layouts, compact layouts, for crying out loud, must everything have a layout? Well, yes, that's part of what makes Salesforce such a flexible CRM platform. You can customize the appearance of so much stuff that we're literally bursting at the seams with layouts. And that's not actually literally, because this isn't a bag of flour that's overstuffed. But don't worry, once you get comfortable with all the customization tools, you don't even think about terminology anymore. So what the heck is a compact layout? When you open a record in Salesforce in the Salesforce mobile app, you see highlights about that record in the header of the page. Compact layouts control which fields appear in the header. For each object, you can assign up to four fields to display in that area. Creating and customizing compact layouts for objects isn't required because system defaults are provided out of the box. However, we recommend using compact layouts to put important fields into record headers to help your mobile users get the information they need quickly. Let's look at an example from DreamHouse Realty. D'Angelo has been experimenting with compact layouts for the property object. And he, okay, yeah, so the, the property object, and that's thinking in effect all that will affect all records on that property, on that object. Check out the screenshots of a property header in the mobile app before and after the customized, the object's compact layout. Okay, so this is the before, that's the after. So you got this whole deal pending stuff. The price, number of bedrooms and bathrooms. Half a million dollars for five bedrooms. 3,000 square feet. Okay. I wonder where that is. It's not in Seattle, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, quite an improvement, right? If you put key fields in an object's compact layout, mobile users can scan the page, page header and see important details at a glance. Create a compact layout. D'Angelo's D'Angelo already took care of the compact layout for the property object, but he's not done customizing his his record headers yet. He also wants to improve the appearance of the contact detail page, so he'll create a compact layout for the contact object. Then brokers can get information about prospective buyers as fast as possible. I'm not sure that made sense to me. We'd make this into a user story. He also wants to improve the appearance. Okay. As a bro broker, I want to see the key information on mobile for each contact so I can know information about my buyers as fast as possible. Okay, so that's what he's trying to do. He's thinking that for brokers, they want to see information about, key information about buyers on their mobile. So, okay, so to do this, from the object management setting, settings for contact, go to compact layouts and click new.
Object Management Settings for Contacts. Settings. No. Settings. Setup. Object Management Settings for Contacts. Compact Layouts and click New. And you know what? This is actually making sense to me. Label name Mobile Contact Layout. Add the following fields name, phone, stage, email. Name. Phone, stage, email. You can include up to 10 fields, but only four will appear in the mobile app. Also, not all fields appear in the list. Compact layouts don't support text areas, long areas, rich text areas. Rich text means text that has formatting. Um, so, or, or multi select pick lists. Sort the fields by selecting them up and down, or be sure the object's name first to provide context for users when they view the record. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Click save. Cool. And th congrats. You've created a mobile contact layout. Next up, assign compact layouts to users. Okay, even though we created the compact layout, the Salesforce app will continue using the system default until we tell it to otherwise. So now we just need to set our new layout as the primary one for the contact object. Here's something to keep in mind. Unlike with page layouts, where you can assign a different layout to each profile, one compact layout is applied to all users. Unlike page layouts where you can assign a different layout to each profile, one compact layout is applied to all users. Okay. Hmm. That's not very mobile first. So now we need to set your new layout as a primary one for the contact object. Here's something to keep in mind. Unlike with page layouts where you can assign different layout to each profile, one compact layout is applied to all users. So like brokers get one compact layout. Okay, so theoretically you could make one layout for an object for one set of users uh, for page layouts. Okay, so for page layouts you could you could create a layout for one group of users and a different one for a different group of users. So that way, let's say uh, brokers and um, marketers maybe are interested in different types of information so they could see so you could create different layouts for the same object but one compact layout is applied to all users okay that seems like something that should be fixed in the next release click compact layout assignment Ah, there it is. So, from the mobile contact layout, what would you call this page? I'm just wondering, like, what if somebody accidentally like was like, "Cool, I created this. Let me go check out details." And they're like, "Okay, so, 
So from the compact, lay compact layouts page, select the mobile contact layout. From here, click compact layout assignment. And get to look at Snow White and the Snowstorm. What happened? There we go. It worked. The primary compact layout defines the fields that display when this object record appear, when this object's records. this object's records appear as the list view items in the mobile app. This primary compact layout defines the fields that display when this object's records appear as list view items in the mobile app. That's an assignment. In the primary contact list, select mobile contact layout. Click save, I'm guessing. Nice job. You just created, you just assigned the mobile contact layout as um, the uh, what did we just do? We just assigned the mobile contact layout as the primary contact layout. Test the compact layout on the Salesforce app. Now it's time to switch over to the mobile app so we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. Let's check out the new contact detail page for our prospective buyers. All right, you know what? I'm going to pause and see if I can actually do this. I've actually never signed in on my phone yet, which I feel dumb about. I should say, like, I'm, I'm normally signed in, but I'm signed in with my Salesforce account. I haven't yet signed in with this um, sandbox account. But... Um, when you do try doing this, there's the, I don't know if this is visible at all, but if you click the gear icon, you then could switch between production and sandbox, and then you click sandbox, and then use a custom domain, and then enter in the random words that come up at the end of your um, sandbox that you're trying to log into. I think this should work. Okay, um, that was really confusing. But basically, like, I had to sign in with my Salesforce account, and then from there, I had to get a Trailhead, which I wasn't really clear on how to do, but I went to the Trailhead Chatter group, and then found a Trail, which then I logged in, in a case. And then I found, once I got to my Trailhead account inside of my Salesforce mobile app, um, I was then able to uh, go to my page settings and then from there find where my trailhead playgrounds are and then click on that now I'm in. So that's cool. Now um, I can go back to this, or go back to this, or okay, go back to this and say, okay, now Um, click on the uh, little three bar hamburger thingy and tap on contacts right there and now um, select the contact I created earlier I don't know which contact I created earlier. Let's do Arthur's song. 
So here we should have um, on the top his name, his number, and uh, his email. And it looks like there's a field. So what field was it that we're supposed to put in here? And got to help. Um, let's go back and see and see if this looks right. Contact. Compact layouts. Mobile contact. Layout. I'm getting really cool. This is cool. I like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Name, phone, stage, email. So that went black and I was showing you a black screen. That's dumb. So name, phone, stage I hear is empty, and then email. I've got that. Let's see if we have a different contact that has this information. No, I don't have stage for any of them. Barbara Levy. Cool. All right. So that was cool. That was seriously cool, actually. I think I did that because like I actually see it now. Except to do that, I had to go into VPN, which is takes a battery. Okay. Uh, Hands-on challenge. Create and enable a compact layout. Brokers want to see important information about their showings at a glance. Create and implement a new compact layout for accounts. So as a broker, I want to see key information about showings so that I know important information about a showing. Create a new account compact layout. Label mobile account layout, mobile account layout, selected fields, account name, account revenue. Make the new mobile account layout the primary compact for accounts. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna pause while I do it so I don't make it too easy for the rest of you. I feel like this should be a capital A because it's you're doing it on the account record. Um, but maybe that was giving away too much. But yeah, that's um, at least I think. We'll see if I get it right. That's pretty cool. Uh, the reason I'm finishing this is because I already took the last unit earlier so that's why I got the nice cool little badge because I did these units out of order I'm still gonna go talk through the next unit because um, I forgot <laughs> thanks for watching